In the last installment of the Rosie Parks update, the shipwrights were fitting the bezel for the doghouse and continuing the planking of the deck. By early June, shipwright apprentices Ken and Chris were finished decking in the aft portion of the boat. With the deck planks fully installed, the shipwrights could focus their attention on sanding and sealing. The shipwrights used traditional cotton caulking in the seams between the deck planks. Cotton waterproofs and also provide structural stability to each individual deck planks, making them function as one unit. Caulking is painstaking work and took about two months to complete, with the bulk of the work done over the summer months. Ken and Mike prepared to attach the chicken beak, which weighs several hundred pounds, to Rosie's stem. A forklift is needed to lift it into place. The chicken beak is a decorative piece of wood forward of the stem of the skipjack, under the bowsprit. Work then began on the Rosie's hatches. Here, the forward hatch trunk is constructed of individual strakes half-lapped at the corners and drifted together into the bezel with half-inch galvanized rods. Shipwright apprentices Ken and Shane clamped the first strake in place in preparation for drilling the holes for the drifts. The Douglas fir trunk is completed and the ledger boards on the port and starboard sides of the hatch are installed. The ledgers are then cut in order to fit the hatch beams that form the structure of the hatch. The oak hatch beams are roughed out, cut to length, and placed in the mortise. The beams were shimmed on all sides to ensure a loose enough fit that the hatches could be removed after completion. In this image, the curve has been cut in the tops of the hatch beams with the ship saw. Here, the decking strakes are applied and fastened with two and a half inch stainless steel screws. Wider oak strakes, or breadboards, are used at the high wear sides or the outer edges of the hatch. With the decking strakes completed, Shipwright Shane prepares to cut the hatch right down the middle into two pieces. The forward hatches were built as one and later cut into two pieces to ensure a proper fit. Sharon Parks Weber and her husband Rob help apply bungs to the screw holes in the decking strakes. Bungs are wooden plugs that cover the head of the screws. One of the hatches is lifted out in preparation for final detail sanding and sealing on the underside. The crew is currently working on Rosie's doghouse and will continue to do so over the coming winter months. This year's Oyster Fest on November 3rd once again welcomed generations of Parks family members. New this year was a premiere of the Fordham Brewery's Rosie Parks Oyster Stout. President and CEO of Fordham Old Dominion, Jim Lutz, made the decision to bring back the popular Oyster Stout recipe to promote the Skipjack's restoration and donated a portion of the proceeds to the museum. The Parks family donated several hand tools used in boat building by Bronza Parks, as well as a campaign sign and other ephemera that he used in running for county commissioner at the time of his death. Bronza Parks, Wicked, Maryland says simply, for county commissioner, vote for an orphan boy who became a businessman and a winner for the people through hard work. If elected, you can be assured I will work hard for your interests. For more information, follow us on Facebook, read our blog, or visit our website.